Welcome back to the Sports Max. So, Jamaican rallycross driver Fraser McConnell continues to celebrate his second victory in the Extreme E Championship season. McConnell's latest win came in round eight, which was held in Sardinia, Italy, last weekend. McConnell and his Spanish teammate Cristina Gutierrez produced a scintillating performance to secure victory ahead of the Rosberg X racing team. McConnell and Gutierrez currently represent the X44 Vida Carbon Racing Team, which was formed by seven-time Formula One world champion Lewis Hamilton. They currently sit on 87 points to occupy fifth place in the 10-team standings. Fraser now joins me in studio to discuss, among other things, his latest victory in the Xtreme E Championships. Welcome to our brand new studio, Fraser. How are you doing? Good, good. Thank you for having me, Sam. I like what you guys have done. This is a, a new look, a good look for the zone. Yeah, and it fits you very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to start by saying congratulations on your second Extreme E win of the season. I was reading an article on Sportsmax.tv and they described the win as flawless. I have to agree. What say you? Well, um, you know, definitely a, a dominant win. I don't ever like to talk and sound overconfident or, or cocky, but... Um, you know, we, we definitely went out there and executed perfectly. We um, took the start around the outside. Um, you know, the outside of the, of the first corner is always, you know, not necessarily the best. It's, you, you can make it work, but you're not favored in the best position going into the first corner on the outside. But um, just trusted my instincts, trusted the car, and I knew there was a little space behind, behind one of the bushes um, that no one was really using all weekend. So saved it to the final. Um, took the lead in the start and, and just kept pulling away. You spoke about this start, right? And everybody felt as if you executed that start perfectly because they're looking on the outside. But in a lot of your interviews, you mentioned the use of tricks. You just spoke about the, the bushes, mm. uh, things that people don't notice. Talk to me about those tricks that you were talking about. Well, it's, it's such a competitive feel that you need to find any little... Um, yeah, trick, lack, lack of better word. Yeah. Um, you know, it's all in the rules. It's all legal. Um, but if you can find that you can do something or find something that makes you a little bit better than the rest of the competition, you're going to put yourself ahead. Um, and, you know, in that same race was one of my, one of my childhood heroes, Sebastian Loeb, nine-time world rally champion, nine consecutive championships. And growing up as a kid, I would have never thought in a million years that I would be standing above him on a podium so yeah that was um big thanks to x44 video coming racing team and lewis hamilton in particular bossman for giving me that opportunity to jump in the car and even have the chance to go on the same starting line as them yet alone um, be able to to finish in front of them so yeah it's it's a, a big stage that we're on um and i'm just grasping the opportunity with both hands and and going for it it must be an honor representing for Lewis Hamilton because he's somebody we usually watch on television. You know, you read about him, you hear about him. But Fraser, you've been blessed to be able to represent him and his team. What I like about Extreme E, though, is the fact that it, it, it's racing for a cause. Mm. So it represents highlighting global issues. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, my favorite part is the gender equality you know it's, it's using racing to promote all of these things um every team consists of one male one female yes um and you know the girls are serious business they're <laughs> they're super fast they don't mess around you know they don't care if they're racing the guys they're gonna if they can get in that inside line and, and push you off they're gonna do that um and you know thankfully i have a, a great teammate beside me christina gutierrez she um she's the current champion they won she won last year with sebastian Loeb. actually he was I, that's who i replaced um, but yeah, they, it, it really brings a huge team dynamic to the racing, to the race that you don't normally get. Uh, it normally it's just one driver, one start, you race until the finish flag and you kind of call it a day. But now we have a male driver doing two laps. You come in, you switch, you do the female driver two laps. The mechanics are involved with what they call the switch zone, where they actually do the changing of the drivers. We have 45 seconds from when we come into the pit to jump out 
make other driver jump in, buckle up safely, nets, everything, and then go back on the road. So, you know, mechanics are part of that, and it really feels like a huge team team vibe in, in during the race, which is incredible. You mentioned the switch, and you're explaining it to me, and I can just picture everything happening. Do you think that switch moment is a make or break in any of the races? Because so many things could happen in that 45 seconds, Fraser. Yeah, so you're not allowed to go before 45 seconds. So it's more so a place where you can lose than gain. Okay. Um, everyone practices to get it right on the dot of 45. And yeah, so if you rush and make a mistake, you're, you're more so going to lose time. You can never go faster than 45. So just making sure it's perfect, mistake free. Um, and making sure that they're safe before they go out again. Yeah, one of the things in my previous interviews with you you've always stressed is your team that ensures that the car is prepared and that you are ready to, of course, give your best. Tell us a bit about that again. No, always. It's, you have to take one race at a time, and you know you never know when the next race is going to be at, this, at such a high stage. So it's been my dream as a child to race professionally, and you know now I'm being able to do that. So every practice session, every, you know, walk to the track every every time i put on my suit i, I really just embrace that moment um and when i'm not at the racetrack i'm trying everything i can do to better my craft as a driver um improve every single time i go out on the track never make the same mistake twice and just evolve as as you know you learn from mistakes you get better and make use of your talent and and go for it and prepping the car for this event any things that happened that stood out for you behind the scenes because i know sometimes we see you all winning and there are so many things that happen behind the scenes hurdles that we're not aware of with this particular event anything um nothing that stands out really you know it's it's a spec series so everyone is racing in the exact same car the only difference is the stickers okay um and uh, the sh cars all get transported around the world by the series ship it's called saint helena so there's no time for the teams to really work on the car in between races. It's kind of get to the race, prep it for three days, race it, and then put it on the boat, and it, it drives around to the next part of the world. So, you know, we, we just always stayed on our game. We've, we've been very good all year. Um, the team has put everything into it, and so have the drivers. And sometimes just bad luck comes your way, and you have to just take it on the chin. So it, I even said to my team boss on... Saturday, we had another DNF. The car broke. Someone hit into us and, and broke the regular set. Steph, you know, what, what do we need to do? We must be doing something wrong <laughs> because we can't just keep getting bad luck at like this. She said, no, Fraz, don't, don't change anything. Um, you've been doing great every single race. You're super fast. You're, you're making smart decisions in the car. Your racecraft is good. You're, you're such a good um, team morale. You're bringing up the spirit. So just don't change anything. Yeah. Um, so listen to her. And the next day, we went out and we won. So. It's, it's very high stakes, so difficult to do well. Um, and yeah, when everything comes together, you just have to give thanks and keep going. Yeah, it looks like pure perfection. Your next Extreme E event is in Chile in December. But before we talk about that, Fraser, what's coming up before that for you? So before that is rounds four and five of Nitro Cross. Um, Rebranded from last year's Nitro Rallycross, um, now owned by Dana White and the Ferrucci brothers, who who they bought, they they they're who brought Uf UFC to right. where it is now. Um, they see a lot of those elements in Nitro Cross now, so they think it's going to be a you know super dominating TV sport that people are gonna um, you know be re really really willing to watch. So. Encouraging that they've, they've come on board, and yeah. So you have that in November. That's going to be November 10, 11. All right. In so Phoenix. we we can catch you on that, and then talk to me about what do you have to do now to be prepared for Chile in December? Is it a lot of tweaks that you have to make, or is it that you know after November you just get ready for that? Well, you know, I always need to stay sharp physically and mentally. So you know, always in the gym, making sure I'm. It, you know, our bodies do go through a lot of abuse during, during those races in the car, you know, big bumps, big jumps, um, people crashing into it. So you need to have a, a strong core. Um, you know, your, your spine gets a lot of impact. So, you know, you, you need to be fit inside the car and fit to the point where you don't get tired in the car. You know, it's no. not, I'm not going to say it's as, I'm not going to say racing is as difficult or, 
or exhausting as track or football or another sport. But you do get tired when you're um, driving. The driving is so intense. And, you know, when you get tired, you lose the mental sharpness. So that's what you don't want to happen in a car. When you're, you're really super fast in the corners, taking big risks. You need to be able to stay sharp mentally. And, you know, fitness is a, a key, key part of that. Yeah, Fraser, you've been dominating in your different competitions that you've taken part in. I remember attending your family's event when you came back, that homecoming event, the celebration. What do you think keeps you so focused? Just thinking back to how much I've wanted to do this for such a long time. Um, you know, grow up in, growing up in Bogwalk, watching Rally, Rally Jamaica go past... Um, you know, the property always looking and, you know, you smell the racing fumes and you look mm -hmm. at the car and say, wow, this is so wicked. And being a little youth saying, one day I want to be a race car driver. And, you know, be, having that competitive spirit, you know, having older brother, older siblings, you know, they, they build that competitive spirit into you. So um, always looking for another challenge, something bigger. And, you know, now we're at the, the top and just trying to, to be as, you know, leave a legacy. Yeah, and you're young and you have a lot of time in front of you. What type of legacy would you like to leave? <clears throat> One that I definitely want to be able to get across is opening a, a door or, or creating a path for other Jamaicans or Caribbeans to go into the, you know, a, a motorsport career, you know, whether it be driver or mechanic engineer. You know, there's, there's no one from Jamaica or the Caribbean that's gone to the lens I have with motorsport. Correct. Um, so, you know, when we first started, they'd look at the Jamaica flag on the entry list and say, you know, what, what Jamaica doing here? Not again. And now they know it will mean business. So <laughs> it's hopefully that, that will last and, you know, I'll be able to create a path for people that want to do the same. Yeah, especially the youngsters looking on and they wouldn't have to go through what you went through thinking <laughs> that we don't belong here. They now think yeah. that they belong. Well, Fraser, as usual, it's a pleasure when you join us on the Sports Max Zone. We want to congratulate you again. And don't be a stranger. We'll chat again soon. I look forward to it. Thank you for having me. Which means you have to keep winning because <laughs> you only come on when you win. Deal. <laughs> All right. Jamaican Rallycross driver Fraser McConnell, of course, visiting us here in the Sports Max studio. We'll take a quick break. And when we come back, we have a lot more on the channel just for you.